Well, Justin, thanks for joining us. I'd imagine you feel very emotional after that uh, afternoon. Yeah, mixed emotions. Um, you know, I think when you arrive here, you, you are focused and solely on one thing, is to, to make sure you leave here winners. Um, it's not a nice feeling. Um, perhaps on the reflection, it was a slow start, but certainly deserved a little bit more than we got for our second half performance. I think we were very, very good, but... You know, congratulations to Fold. You know, um, they were worthy winners, and, 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 we, and we wish them all the best for next season. Because your substitutions again had a, the impact you would have wanted three times in the second half denied by the Woodwork. Could have had a penalty. Uh, possibly. I, I think the, you know, we've hit the Woodwork a few times. I, I think the one when you perhaps I stood there and think it's perhaps not going to be our day is when, unfortunately, Matt Harold caught cleared to Jordan Maguire Drew's effort off the line. <laughs> And I think you think, well, that perhaps not going to be a day. But on reflection of it, again, I, I, I'm, I'm proud of the football club. I'm proud of my players. They've been incredible all season. And, and the fans again today, the, the numbers that we've been backed by is quite incredible. And, um, you know, we, we accomplished the goal to get back into the Football League. Obviously, this was the next to, to try and complete the double. But, you know, it, it hasn't worked that way. And... Players are hurting, but you know they have to take a lot of credit for, for the season they've had. Charlie Lee tweeted before the game that this was his, going to be his last game for the O's. Have you made decisions about other players who might be leaving now? Yes, I have. I th I'm sure the club will, will announce that. Um, you know, Charlie Granger left in the week. I, I felt it was only fair that the players were, were aware. You know, It's been a long period where the season finished and, and we waited three weeks for this game. So... You know, they've been thoroughly professional um, and I think that showed in Charlie's performance when he came on. Should we open it up to the floor? Justin, do you think that the long break that the O's had before this game compared to the final made, made a difference in terms of sharpness and finishing on front of goal? No doubt first half. I thought we were, we were ring rusty. I thought we, we didn't find our legs. We looked very leggy. Credit to Fold because you know I, I came last week and it looked a nervous performance but they certainly got that out of their system and, and credit to them to show the character they did to, to come here today and win it but my positive was that we got in nil-nil because we could have you know been behind but once we did we re reassessed we just calmed the players they were disappointed with their performance but we understood that, that that would be possible that we didn't start well but I thought as the game went on you know we, yeah. we dominated and grew into the game and like I say I, I do believe that you know, we, we, we were worthy of taking the game to extra time, there's no doubt about that. Anyone else? Justin, in terms of Jordan Maguire, they obviously agreed from you when he came on in the second half, but that, that's what I suppose you probably wanted from him to come almost, not so much an end performance, but show you why you should start. Yeah, I mean, I think it was, he's pushed for the latter part of the season, was the last three or four games, he's, he's, he's got over his injury. I think there's a big future for him. I think he's, the big thing for me is our plan now. He's had a lot of loans, um, but you know we secured him on a, on a long-term deal, and and I think he feels wanted. He feels that it's his home, and, and I think there's there's a lot more to come, and, and then kind of performances will will get him a starting place in the in the team. Just last one over there. Well, we don't want to go in there and make the numbers up. I think um, we need to take momentum forward. I think we're equipped for that off the pitch. Um, I think that's shown in our attendance numbers, the way the club's run with the new ownership, chairman, uh, board have been, been incredibly well back in. I think everything's in place to try and go and emulate, you know, the teams, the two teams that are coming here for League Two playoff in Newport and Tranmere. You know, Tranmere already going up, I think, last season. Forest Green, who they beat in the semi-finals, promoted two or three years ago. Lincoln City, you know, and, and I think the one that we all look is at Luton. You know, they're, they're obviously now going into the championship. So we we want to go and be competitive. We know that it's going to be tough. We know it's a step up, but, but I believe the squad are capable of doing that. And and we've got the right blend, I think, in terms of some really good young players that will, will learn a lot from this season and, and today's disappointments. Uh, and some really good senior players. Those coaches you just mentioned, what do you think they've done particularly well? Well, I think they've added well. I think they've, they've not been fearful of allowing the squad that got promoted to go and 
excel in League Two. You know, I look at Tranmere, it's more or less a very similar team that you know we competed against last year. Lincoln, you know, did it bit by bit. So I think keeping the, the belief, um, but obviously when you do strengthen, you know, they've got to be better than what we've got, and that, that would be key. Okay, brilliant. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thanks, everyone.